Okay, so, so far we've talked about what happens if we divide by a monomial, and then if we divide by anything other than a monomial, we do long division. Now, in this problem, we've got x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. Now, we could do long division on this problem because this is something other than a monomial. That would be perfectly acceptable. But there is sort of a shortcut method, and that's called synthetic division. Now, in synthetic division, the main criteria is you have to be dividing by something in the form of x minus c. So let me uh, look at this here real quick so that you can see what's happening. In order for this to be in the form of x minus c, it would have to be x minus some number. Well, what number would go in here so that it would simplify into x plus 2? Wouldn't that be a negative 2? Now this is in the correct form, and that tells me that the c number is actually negative 2. That's going to be important in our synthetic division. All right, so now, here's what we're going to do, just in case you've, you've some, most of you have probably never seen this before, and that's okay. Um, let's work out how we do synthetic division. It's really just long division, uh, but we've taken out all of the variables so that you only have the numbers to work with. Makes it a little bit nicer. Okay, we're going to start out with our numerator here, but we're only writing down the numbers, not the variables. So we would have 1, because that's the coefficient in front of the x squared, and then 5, and then 6, just our coefficients. Now out here, sort of in a like an upside down division sign, we're going to put our c value, or what we're dividing by, and we found that that is a negative 2. Now here, I'm going to leave a blank space, and here, so this is how you want to set up all of your synthetic divisions. Now let's start in. Okay, here's what we do. We always drop our first number, which would be a 1, and then we multiply diagonally and combine up and down. So isn't that the exact same thing that we do with long division? We multiply diagonally, so negative 2 times 1 would be negative 2, and then we combine up and down, so 5 and negative 2 would be 3. And then we repeat the process. We multiply diagonally, so negative 2 times 3 would be negative 6, and then we combine up and down, 6 and negative 6 is 0. This last entry here is our remainder position. So if we started out with x squared as our highest power of x, our answer is going to be one power less than that. This is what tells us what our answer is after the division. Our answer here is 1x plus a positive 3. If we were to do this problem out by long division, we would get the exact same thing. So if I do that really quickly here, you can see that. x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. x times x would give me x squared. And when I multiply diagonally, that would be x squared plus 2x. And then I have to subtract every term. So that would be x squareds are gone. 5x minus 2x is 3x. Are you seeing where those numbers are very similar? And then drop our next term and continue on. So uh, x times 3 would be the th uh, would give me 3x. So when I multiply diagonally, 3 times x plus 2 would be 3x plus 6. And then I would subtract every term to get a zero remainder. We will get the same thing no matter which method we use, but I think as you practice the synthetic division, you'll find that it's actually much, much easier than um, worrying about all of your variables also.